Good morning, everybody. How you been? Anyway, it's Saturday morning and uh, the sun isn't up yet. And I thought, let's not turn on the light so we can like, see if the sun comes up while I'm doing this. I don't know. Um, oh, wait. Do you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Let's go in here <laughs> to this cursed house and see what chaos we can bring. Because Alexander, he uh, he wants Lucy back. Uh, he has never been able to, to let go of Lucy. She, she has always been like the one for him. And he uh, got very upset during his college years because she was not with him and he uh, he got arrested for assault actually he involved he was involved in fighting and so he got sent to jail but he behaved in there and now he's out and he moved back to the goth house where Darren and Cor Cornelis was uh, living because Alexander thought like Darren what are you doing here you have no ties to this house anymore your children was taken away Cassandra is dead she sadly passed away because she was pregnant and she didn't eat in time so he alexander said look darren wouldn't you rather go live with your family and darren thought that would, that makes sense because uh what's his face <laughs> what is darren's <clears throat> darren's son i forgot his name how can i forget his name dirk i think it's dirk we can, we can we can go over here and, and see yes it's Dirk so Darren went over to Dirk's house to help him out with all his children and his bills and everything uh, because Dirk is Darren's heir anyway so and, and the, these ones they, they are in the foster system now um, Yes, both Davis and Delmar, I think. I think I think Seth is the only one that's still in the orphanage. Anyway. So that was happening with that. And Alexander was like, I'm gonna have to live in the goth mansion because this is our legacy. And Cornelis is probably wanting to go to college. So we'll have to leave this house and it would be empty. Uh, so Alexander thinks that he will stay here and he wants to get married to, to Luthi. Luthi. Lucy. But she just got married to Randy and ran off to live in a really small apartment. But you know, Alexander has... Um, a bit of an edge they don't have any money out right now so I'm gonna try and remedy that I don't remember if he has any money but yeah he, he has some money so we will extract like 4,000 I think because I, I remade the rules for uh, adopting children <laughs> and there's one particular child in the orphanage that Alexander desperately thinks should not be there and that is little Diana her name is Burb right now I think yeah that's gonna change I think <laughs> So the rules for the orphanage now is uh, you don't go there <laughs> if 
because I have my I was having time tra troubles. Um, instead, you spawn all the potential children into your house when whenever you want to adopt, and you get three random ones. I mean, if you pay a thousand simoldis, you get three random ones from the orphanage. They get spawned in. You talk to them, and whoever you have the most points with at the end of like three hours is the one for you. However, since it's really hard to interact <coughs> with toddlers and babies that are not yours, uh, the th three random ones will only be children enough. If you want a toddler or a baby, you need to pay 2,000 simoleons and then you can choose the child. Uh, just plain out choose it because of the aforementioned trouble with interacting with toddlers. Now in Alexander's case, he has a pretty good relationship with Diana already, I think. Where is she? Oh, she's over here. Yes, their relationship is very good. He has two points. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not so good. <laughs> but he is his uh, he is already her father. So there will be no like adoption thing happening technically uh because you're already it's already there but you know to get cost custody and i was thinking like maybe they don't want to send children to this house because they took children away from this particular house however <laughs> that was children for uh, um Darren and Cassandra, and they're not living here anymore. And Cornelius is just a teen, so I I don't think that like they will handle the application. That it's Alexander. He's a new one. He has a criminal record, but 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 I don't want that to be in my way of my story. So. <laughs> <laughs> we will really just have to, um, like, not, not have an issue that, with that. So, Alexander now has 20,100 in his bank account. That is not a lot. And he is not the heir of neither the estate or the, the businesses. But he, he lives here. And uh, I hope he can handle the bills. Um, we'll see. Does he have a job? No, he does not. That's not. <laughs> that's not of priority right now. Lucy has the day off, and we will have to act fast. Because Alexander thinks like if he can get Diana here first then he will have no troubles breaking up Lucy's marriage because she will probably miss her daughter and want to be with her. That's what he thinks anyway. She like she did leave her daughter at her mother's house, but you know. <laughs> um, I'm just waiting for the sun to come up in the game because it's uh, nighttime right now. And Cornelius went to sleep. Does he have... He has a lot of homework. He wants to... Uh, he's doing miserably in school. Uh, but he wants to get this scholarship, which you get if you reach the top of the teen career. But I think like it's more pressing than getting the skill point. It's more pressing to do the homework um, because otherwise <laughs> he might lose the job anyways. I think Alexander enjoys being back home. I don't know who's painting the these are. Okay, that one could be scrapped.
he also wants to obtain a pet, so, but I mm, will do that later. I don't know if we should have a pet. <laughs> I'll just wait with that. He wants to be with Lucy. Uh, he also wants to be friend with Cornelius. Oh, there's food out on the table. Put on, put away the leftovers. I can eat this and then like view this portrait of Lilith because <laughs> like this house has a history. <clears throat> Weren't you just eating? Well, cereals are not that filling. So let's just speed through this. All right. So now, okay. Don't don't look at that painting. Now it is daytime. Amy Jones is here to deliver the newspaper. Let's go greet her. I don't know. So let's spawn in. If I can find the orphanage over here, this is the summoner bush. <laughs> It's very logical. Orphanage. So we want Shelby because she runs the orphanage. So she, she wants to oversee everything. And then we have little Diana over here. So we'll also want to make those selectable so they don't leave. And then we can go and talk to her because that's what we need to do. Oh, look at her. We'll just pretend that Alexander called ahead and told her of her his intentions. It's a it's a fairly quick process, like he is the biological father of the child. Maybe that's why they look past like his. It's very minimal uh, prison uh, sentence he has on his record. So maybe they think that that was a one time off. It's, he was a first offender. It's, it's fine. So I think this is going go good. <laughs> so let's move Diana in. And then we can make Shelby unselectable and she can leave whenever she wants. So after we, oh, after we talk to her, we need to like, um, hold Diana because, hello. Also, he did this in his pajamas. I just realized, uh, he should have changed, but oh, oh my goodness, Diana, no, <laughs> that's not suitable. Oh, the butler can pick that up. Where are you going with her? Whole youngster. But, but wait, why are you going all the way over here? <laughs> I don't know. Is Cornelius up yet? Well, do homework. Let's see. Cornelius is 15 years old. In two years. <clears throat> In two years, he will be allowed to lock in the wanting to go to college want. And in two more years, he will be allowed to go if he has an A. Uh, he does not <laughs> right now, but we'll see. Oh, well, do you have a, a cell phone? Apparently not. So now that that is settled, maybe we do we have a bed for her? I don't remember if I sold everything. I seem to have sold everything. Well, let's see. Okay, so this is Alexander's room. Maybe we put Diana in here. Wait, who lives in here? Nobody. Yeah, maybe we unclaim this door. And we 
put Diana in here next to this huge bed. I think that will be good. Let's have a look. I wish this came in a darker wood. I, I, I should I should fix that. Huh. This bed comes like you can recolor the frame and the beddings, but this bed only has like uh, single options thingies. That makes sense. I don't know. Maybe Diana isn't tired. No, she is not. You can. I want to like put her inside. <laughs> Like we can't just leave her out on the on the grass. Like hold her. Oh. I hope I remember to do the door thing later. I don't want to run away from her. I want to call Lucy now, but I, I don't want to to leave Diana out on the floor on the ground. There. Where's the phone? Now, ask on to date, and we'll, we'll have a date here, and my reasoning is <laughs> because I can't find an option ever to like convince to leave spouse. Uh, I, I've never seen it in recent years in The Sims 2. I could have sworn it was there, but I have never seen it. So I think that if, if they're like in love like they are uh, like this and she agrees to move in then she has like agreed to break up with her husband um, in this case <laughs> I just wanted to be nice we'll see what happens then so ask her on a date she is Lucy London now Come here, please. I want you to meet someone. Oh, well, uh, clean this up. Why hasn't the butler done this? Well, I'll, I'll clean it up because I want it to look good when Lucy comes over. Does Diana have a lot of skills? She has a bit of creativity. Now she's trying to get some charisma too. The gardener is... Um, I don't know, I, f I feel like they should come more often. See? There- oh, he's still in his pyjamas. <laughs> like, why would you change? I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? Like, this is good, yes. <laughs> yeah, he has nicer clothes. He has to, uh, he's just not wearing them. Okay, so should we like, no, we can, we can try and have, what does she want? She just wants to have a woohoo in a public spot with three different sims and she wants to fall in love with Ricky that she broke up with in order to get married to <laughs> to, uh, to Randy. It's very confusing. Um, but she also wants to dance with Alexander and play with Alexander. And he also wants to play with her. So let's have them... Let's, let's tickle her. <laughs> nice and talk to her tell her about everything like okay i actually got diana back and i think it would be best for our daughter if she had both her parents here and don't you miss her She says that, yeah, I, I actually do. But should I move in with you? We could have soup. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you sometimes do that? Like, imagine what they're saying. <laughs> well, propose, move in. And see what she says. 
We can keep talking first. Why is it three days left in summer? I think it should be two. Uh, yes. This lot is unsynced. Let's fix that. Fix that real quick. No, not that one. We need the this one. Uh, so it's season length two days. There we go. Uh, I need to get back to build mode so I can sell it again. There we go. Because it is Saturday over here, so yeah. And it also says in my spreadsheet that there should be two days left of summer. And mostly I go with a spreadsheet. <laughs> oh, they're still talking. Are you still good at cooking? I don't know if he's good at cooking. He has two points of that. Oh, she's over here. I was like... He has stashed her in there. Alexander might have to uh, fire some of these staff, though. I don't know if they can afford all of this. <laughs> he has the maid, the gardener, and the butler. Uh, and he should have a nanny, too, when he's not unemployed. <clears throat> And the bills will increase on Monday, I have decided. Well, we're not bringing brandy. <laughs> oh, Fantastic. Oh, now she wants to... Uh, I'm just going to focus on them for a little while. She is a romance sim, so she, she's a bit of a wild one. She, she's at flight risk, but she's here now and he is so happy. So let's let's have them make out. Like why why leave this lovely pa pavement uh, the sidewalk? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm, I'm uh, oh my god the the bills are now at one thousand three hundred forty five. Yeah, yeah yeah I think it's uh, gonna be. I think it's gonna be tough. That's all I'm saying. And he has what in his bank account? I'm uh, 20,000. But he has no loan, at least. And now we have Lucy over here she doesn't appear to have anything on her bank account either because yeah I don't think she she does no nothing but she does have a job suddenly no she doesn't all right I went into her household beforehand to check if she had a job and I could have swore she was a retail. Oh, all oh right. She was working for Alexander. That was her job. <laughs> he <laughs> he hired her, like to to sort of help her out a little bit. But now that she joined the household, apparently she doesn't work for him anymore because she will do it for free now. So. <laughs> Who are you getting love letters from? Is it from Lucy? We can check. Oh, he has an old boot too. All right. Uh, I don't know whose bouquet is that. We can look later. I'm not doing this. I want to put this on a table. I have no tables. Okay, let's just put it here. It's blue. Why is it blue? And this is his loan jar. I don't think he has a loan. Does he? No. Well, then we can sell it. 
You can also sell these boots. Okay, we'll have to view that. <laughs> Maybe what got sent to... I don't know. Maybe it's data is corrupt. Maybe I need to save. <laughs> Maybe my game will crash. I don't know. Missing data, I think. It's very strange. Oh, look at those two. They are pretty. Like, she looks happy. Her lifetime wish is to have 20 si simultaneous lovers. So she will never stop. When she is satisfied as she is now, she will go looking for more. Uh, but she wants to woohoo with Alexander. That's interesting. Uh, his lifetime wish it to, is to have six grandchildren. So what I'm thinking <laughs> is that he wants to try for baby with her. Uh, because my rule is if you're in gold or above, like in platinum, like he is right now, uh, is Alexander available to talk? Well, no, I'm very busy. <laughs> then you go uh, pursuing your lifetime want. It's kind of a, like a Maslow's uh, staircase. Like first you take care of these needs, then you take care of these needs, and then you take care of these needs. <laughs> All right. Kind of like that, you know. If you have read about Maslow, you're probably shouting right now that no, that's not how that works at all. But you know, that's what how I'm thinking about it. <laughs> like more um, self fulfillment and stuff later on. What happened, dear Alexander? I had fun. Love Tiffany. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this evidence so that Lucy doesn't find it. <laughs> Tiffany. What? Who's Tiffany? Tiffany Tellerman. All right. Oh, right. I reincarnated uh, someone. <laughs> oh, I need to go into CMP and fix this because now she has a relationship with a child. <laughs> uh, th this, uh, pay no attention to this. Th this doesn't count. <laughs> It's unpursuable. <laughs> I'm going to remove it. What I what I do? Okay, it's the it's the retirement thing, um, or the what do I call it? The, the retirement home, I think. So, uh, like, once every day, I check for someone that has no uh, family tree whatsoever. It's just them. And I reincarnate them, meaning I put them at zero, zero age in my spreadsheet and I make them a child. Uh, and then I make them a townie. And that way uh, I get new townies. New. I also rename them in same PE. But I should have removed all the relationship. I, I thought like maybe they will go away by themselves. I don't know. It didn't. <laughs> Um, right, uh, having relations. There we go. Relax. So, all right. So, so the reason I do that instead of just killing them is because if I kill them, then their uh, personality file is still in the game, taking up space basically. Uh, and I have a ghost. I I rarely have like use of ghosts of unknown sims like that is not related to anyone so i thought let's just reincarnate them using the same character file renaming them they will have the same appearance but i don't think like i think when they age up they will get like different clothes and different hairstyles and stuff so i don't think that I will like recognize them all all too much. Uh, I'll just uh, view it as a like a known face preset or something. 
Okay, well, back to the story. <laughs> Ask you, Lucy to join him. Him, Mrs. No. Um... Wait, he wastes no time. That's what I was going to say. So let's go over here. Yes, and then we're going to try for baby and I'm gonna note in my spreadsheet that he has tried for baby on Saturday I'm not sure what Lucy thinks about that, but he's not using protection try for baby one Saturday Because when you like technically he could get six grandchildren uh, just from Diana, but you know, more children means more grandchildren. <laughs> there you go. I think this is going to be a dream day. <laughs> and since. Alexandra wants to get married to Lucy. She will have to invite Randy over and break up with him. So, but we'll we'll end the date first. What is okay? I I do feel like my Sims are pretty bad at, at satisfying their hunger needs themselves. I don't know. Uh, let's have him get leftovers i guess but he's reading to to uh, diana this is diana <laughs> does he have a good relationship with her wait where is she he doesn't know her you're just reading to the child how do you not know her that doesn't make any sense oh we have like half a piece of, <laughs> of dessert uh bowl Okay, have a bowl, I guess. <laughs> a bowl of what? Nobody knows. It's burnt. Yeah, okay. And there's a storm. Diana, don't you think you should go inside? Where's the butler at? Oh, he, oh the butler's over here. They are having such trouble with these bushes i'm gonna sell a bit, bunch of them because they they seem to not be able to get to them i'm gonna move that over there i don't know if this is in what bushes can you get to well i don't know but he gets stuck out here and then he doesn't do anything <laughs> there you go do something else because we do have a gardener here, you know, you don't need to be trimming the bushes. You know, when you hire a, a butler, he says, like, I'll take care of everything. Uh, but he, he doesn't really do that. <laughs> he gets stuck out here with the bushes. And we have a lot of them because it's in his mansion. Yeah, she wants to be potty trained. Nobody did that, and now she wants to, like you. Okay, need, take care of the child. Do uh, things. Change diaper. Stop sleeping. You're on a date. And then maybe you know, put some clothes on. <coughs> oh, I hate my voice today. And the sun came up. <laughs> you know what? I don't like the light. We have noted that the sun came up. I'll just turn on all the, the lights that washes out my face. It's I'm more comfortable this way. <laughs> See it like I'm having like therapy or something. I don't know. There you go. In, he has a little bit of time, he can focus on the date, but you know, we need to focus on the daughter first. Oh my goodness, the family is together! 
sometimes I remove that blur because I don't like it. What I am going to do is I'm going to remove these sheet objects because I don't remember why I put them out and I don't think I need them. We'll see. Wait, what happened? I don't know. There we go. Oh, he has still hasn't paid for Diana. <laughs> I, you're not paying for the child, you're paying for the process. You're paying for the privilege of choosing and stuff like that. You're not paying for the actual child, that would be trafficking. <laughs> That's way worse. They, you know, you know what I mean, I hope. Uh, we need to transmit money to household funds, a playable sim, and we're paying 2,000 because we got to choose the child and choose Diana. Oh my goodness. I can't get all their faces in one shot. Uh, well, this will have to do. Maybe we, if I do the picture a little bit bigger, then you get a feel of where they are maybe, but it's really not that obvious. There, now she's all better. <laughs> the butler is obsessed with these bushes. Maybe now that I have fixed them, he won't get stuck out there and he'll get less obsessed. I hope. <clears throat> oh, she needed to read uh, right in her diary. Wait, stop it. Let's have a little back rub. After I pay money to Shelby, or what's her face? Uh, this Shelby Barrett, she is running the orphanage, so we will give all the money to her. Who's this? William Burr. Okay. 2000 was successfully transmitted to Shelby Barrett's household funds. Great. Now we can appreciate Lucy a bit. Maybe the dream date is one of the criteria for her to like leave Randy. I, I don't know. I keep making up rules and sometimes <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. No, she's in the bathroom. Oh, right. Because they were in bed. You'll see Lucy. We'll be really happy here. I think. Like, how can she say no to this? She is currently living in the smallest apartment. They don't even have room for uh, a bed each. They have to, have to like share and sleep one at a time. So, or maybe they just have a couch actually. I don't remember, but, <laughs> and this is a mansion. She could have her own room if she liked. Like Diana can have this room. And Lucy could like pick this room, maybe, or something else. I mean, they, they got room here. Or she can just live in here with Alexander until Cornelius comes and kicks them out of this room because this is the master bedroom. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, yeah. How will we make this date better if you don't have any wishes? Just make out with her. They don't have any wishes that... Like, she wants to meet someone new and fall in love with Ricky and ha make out with 10 different sims. And woohoo with 10 different sims. That will not make this date good. <laughs> you know? And he just wants the date to be good. And then a bunch of other crap. That that's 
really relate. But I think the date will get better if they do um, schnupsy nupsy stuff with each other. So I'll have them do the schnupsy nupsy. So maybe he uh, hugs her, squeeze her, and I don't know. Maybe maybe you make out until it's a dream day. Oh, hi, Shelby. Yes, we are very happy. Thank you. Maybe we tell her to leave now. <laughs> Say goodbye to Shelby. Oh, she, she just came up to say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm. Is it a dream date yet? Uh, well, it, it is, but it could be better. Can we just make out again? See, it's a dream date. Okay, now we can end the date. Fantastic. What is Cornelius doing? All right, yeah, that's... Didn't I tell you to eat? See, they go hungry all the time. Uh, maybe you serve lunch. Lunch meat sandwiches. Yes, that that is fine. The butler should do that too, but he's busy somehow. What is he doing? What are you doing out there? Oh, there's trash out here. Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jennifer is wondering how how is Diana? Uh, I think Lucy will have to call her mother and tell her about everything. Uh, like because she, Lucy has ran away from from all her responsibilities to to live with Randy, and then she went to work for Alexander. <laughs> and now she she moved in with Alexander and like is leaving Randy is her plan. So I I, I think she's she needs to talk to her mother about all this. Uh, she deserves to know. But also she oh she might be a little bit upset with with her mother for letting child services take away all the children. Um, not sure, but we need to get some groceries delivered. Why hasn't the butler fixed that? <laughs> the butler is useless today. Um, uh, it's not a service, it's a delivery. Call delivery. Yes, I know you're hungry. You can get leftovers. Don't starve to death. Well, he's not pregnant anyway, so. Groceries. Fill her up. Do we have money? Yes, we have money. Thank you for your order. A truck will be by shortly with your items. Now, a thought that I had. Would Cornelis leave Alexander with some money so that he can keep the mansion running for him because he's actually he's like looking after the mansion for Cornelius when he is oh my goodness oh right <laughs> it's Lucy calling he, she has lovers yes okay but where is her mother there okay she is not at home until tonight well We have to call Randy. I don't know. We'll have some, some time to think about the money issue. Because Alexander being unemployed. But he can run the businesses, I think. Cornelius is the owner of them. I don't know what happens if he moves out. I don't. I'm confused. Anyway, where's Randy? <laughs> Randy, uh, invite over. And then make sure Alexander is up here. Yeah. So he doesn't see that he will, she will probably kiss him when he comes over. I can't stop it.
but he'll come right over. And she will also do this in her bathrobe, apparently. Yeah, I don't want to go inside now. Oh, Gina Shibata. Say hi to her. I think she's very pretty. Look, 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 look how pretty she is. There she is. Ah, okay. Here she is. She's pretty. And my camera is uh, uncooperative. That's fine. Yes, also maybe accept the delivery. Hmm. Not and... Okay, oh, can, can I just not greet him and just break up with him? I don't think that's... Wow. I don't think she would do that. She will greet him first. She wants to win a dance competition. She also wants to woohoo in bed. Okay, apparently she greets him before she does... I don't know. She, you can just leave the basket there. I'll, I'll pick it up later. <laughs> what is everyone doing? No, 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 no. Don't go out there. Um, okay, maybe if Lucy actually greets her. Accept the delivery. I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. She's not on a date with Randy. She is breaking up with him. Don't go in here. Break up. I have a mod that makes uh, it possible to just break up at any point. Uh, because Lucy needs it. Because she, she needs to like switch husbands a lot. <laughs> so there. There we go. You are now my ex. I need to live... Look Look at what I can be provided with. Oops. Um, camera, get back. Look here, Randy. You can even provide me with a good home. This is a good home. Oops. Okay, I'm keeping pressing the wrong buttons. I just want a nice screenshot. Okay. Like, like it so. She is upset with him that, like, she thought it was romantic at first, uh, that they, like, ran away together to live in the, like, smallest apartment. And that's why she didn't bring Diana, because, she, uh, like, there was no room for her. Uh, but she thought Diana was safe with her mother. But now that she got invited to live in the goth mansion, this is what she shows us. No, I will not stay married to you. Goodbye. <laughs> Her lifetime wish, though. Um, it's not going well, is it? <laughs> there she goes. Okay, good. Now that that's done. Oh my goodness, he got sad. Cornelius witnessed the whole thing, so maybe he talks a bit with Randy and tries to cheer him up a bit. Oh, look at how sad he is. You know, marriage is hard. And he tells about like when they got engaged and how they like just moved in together and everything. And Cornelius saying, yeah, I think, I think Alexander wants a big family. Stop. I don't know what they're talking about. Everyone aged up. Maybe after you talk to Randy, you say goodbye to him. He, he doesn't need to linger over here. But... Wait, where is Lucy in my spreadsheet? She got lost. <laughs> I need to... Uh, where's... So Diana is here. And also Lucy. I need to, to fix up all this. We have four sims. We have Alexander, Lucy, Cornelis, and Diana. And Alexander is now 28. And Lucy is 25. So she is three years younger. Cornelis is 16. 
Wait, is that right? Didn't I say there was two more years until he could log in college? Maybe I didn't know how many years there are between 15 and 16. <laughs> All right, but D Diana is now five. And did we get a notice that she might age up? <gasps> oh my goodness, yes. All right, I was uh, doing the waiting thingy. Right, so she will auto age up. That's fine. She is just a toddler. She will be a child now. So we'll see a little bit better what she looks like. I think like Lucy is one of my favorite Sims in Pleasant View. Look how pretty she is. She is so pretty. <laughs> like I understand why all the guys want to be with her because she is so pretty. And um, Alexander, like not so much. All oh, right, I need a better picture of him. Can you stop that for a little bit? I need to take your picture. Oh, now she's all upset. Go, go talk to her. I don't know. No, first picture. You just you stand still. Thank you. <laughs> there. I need it for my family tree. I I don't have a good picture for him. Like so. Am I even saving everything in the right folder? Yes, I am. This is Alexander Goth Adult. Now, I can fix the family tree. Maybe. Why? Why? <laughs> My computer wouldn't let me uh, go over. So, because I, I just uh, snapshotted out of... Uh, Out of the family tree, and that, that's not a good picture. We, we need a better picture. There we go. See, this is way better. And we will soon have a new picture for Diana if she... If it pleases her to age up. She should be auto-aging up. Like, now. I don't know. But she's in the crib. So, some will have to fetch her out, I don't know. But her parents uh, seems to be busy. And she wants to woohoo in bed, so I'm doing, I'm gonna do a casual woohoo in bed. And hopefully, I hope the butler, like, takes care of her. But he's still obsessed with the, with the garden. Oh my goodness. They have a lot of gardening. <laughs> okay, next to the screaming child, they go in for the, the second woohoo of the day. Oh, Cornelius, could you could you let her out, please? Mm -hmm. oh. Did he just become best friends with Gianna? Gina, not. Gina. Yes, he did. All right. Also, I think I left these out. Put away. Put away leftover. I wish that the butler put away leftovers, but they don't. Ever. I need one loan jar it per house and I think that is the definite one. Oh, he has a lot of crap in here maybe we'll put this in this corner we already have one of those there is it smart to have an extra chair up here? I don't know. I'm just gonna put it out. What is this? The first simoleon award. You could put that over your bed. There you go. 
I feel bad that they did this when Diana is screaming like this. Let her out. See, I could have tried for baby again, but um, you're only allowed to do that once per day, so he will have to wait until sa Sunday. Yes. Will she age up now? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, Ways Ways. Welcome here, viewers. Hello. Hi. <laughs> we are playing the goth mansion today. Or the goth family. Uh, and Alexander just got uh, Lucy to move in with, hi with him. And she broke up with Randy, who she had married. Because Alexander wants to marry her. Oh, now she is free to get proposed to. Maybe we should do that. As a celebration, you know. Oh, he also wants to get a job. Maybe I do the job thing first. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want it to to be rolled away. Oh yeah, uh, he is in my game. He has already graduated from college. Um, so let's let's try and find him a job because he has no job, and now he wants to be in the music career for some reason. Um, I'm not gonna question you. I hope. I just hope that job is available. It might not be. Diana is about to to grow up. I hope. <laughs> it, it looks like it. Uh, Diana is the child of Lucy Burb and Alexander Goth. There is an intelligence job available. So uh, is Alexander doing well in your game in college? I had, I was so sure he was going to flunk out in my game. He was on probation and he didn't want to get any skill points. But at the last minute he did. <laughs> so at the, it, at the very last minute he actually graduated and I was shocked. Um, culinary career, no. He's a Roman sim, he's doing his best. Yes, uh, I think I might. I don't re remember what I start him out as in my game. But he is now a family sim. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I get so distracted. M we're looking for the music career. Reminder to myself. <laughs> but thank you so much for that follow. Uh, military career. There she goes. Oh my goodness, look at her. So uh, Cassandra trag tragically died in my game because she was pregnant and didn't go eat. He's living out the rock and roll lifestyle in college. <laughs> yeah. I think I had him as a pleasure sim or something. He did not want to do stuff. Uh, but look at... Look at Diana. She got, she got the, the the ponytails. That seems so fitting. Like since Cassandra tragically passed away. Oh no! I had a pregnancy and died for the first time ever a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, when your Sims in The Sims Two is pregnant, um, constantly feed them. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. They will starve to death like like flies all over the place. They are it's <laughs> the hereditary pigtails. Right? <laughs> I had changed Cassandra out of those pigtails, but you know, maybe it's a goth thing. <laughs> Science career, no. Oh my goodness, my cursor is stuck. No, there was no no uh, music career for you today maybe tomorrow go and propose to lucy because that's what you want to do um where is it propose engagement in the kitchen in her bath uh, bathrobe it's fine <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, well, maybe. You, you need to unclaim this door because I want to claim it for Diana. Uh, and then, where is she? She might be pregnant. We have tried for baby once. So we'll see what happens. But propose engagement to her. At least she is eating. She is not dying <laughs> right now. Cornelius is not doing very well. Cornelius is uh, Cassandra's first child in this game, but he is still a teen and he will probably go off to college. We'll see. Oh, wait. Uh, he is now 16 in my game, so he is allowed to lock the going to college want, but he, <laughs> he only has a D minus, so he has some work to do. He needs to do these homeworks during the weekend. We'll see. We'll see if he managed that. Hmm. Oh no, I didn't have enough money out of the bank accounts. What do you mean you don't have enough money to pay me? I'm going to take something you own as payment, you slacker. I'm sorry, Luke. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to stiff you up. I, I thought I had money. Very sorry. Remember to save your game. Yes, that would be a good idea. <laughs> as long as they don't have an F, they can go to college. Mm, I have different rules. Uh, in my game, you can go to college when you're 18 if you have an A. If you have a B, you can go when you're 19. If you have a C, you can go when you're 20. If you have a D, you'll have to win, wait until you're 21 and there's a good chance that you won't have a chance to go to college. So he needs to step his game up just a little bit so that he can go. <laughs> uh, that's my rule uh, because I didn't feel like uh, like the, the grades had a big enough impact. <laughs> uh, yeah, like everyone plays different. I enjoy. Oh my goodness, I enjoy this. <laughs> I enjoy making up rules. And then I enjoy changing them. Uh, it's kind of. That's just a thing that I enjoy. And so I change it a lot. Um, and I test it out, I play it by the rules and see if, if I like it and then if I don't like it I change it so yeah I like doing that now they're engaged and it's late at night and that means they can have a nice wedding tomorrow it, and it's Sunday that's perfect um, Sunday tomorrow so oh see we still have the wedding set up here back here <laughs> because the Gaw family they don't go to church or any other venue to get married they get married right here all right um well she wants to be friends with Gina so well uh, let, let's uh concentrate on that shall we <laughs> Lucy um is a room romance in, in my game and uh, it's um, it's creating drama. Let's just say that. But right now I'm concentrating on them actually getting married because Alexander wants it, and then we'll see what happens. She might not stay here, but it makes sense for her to like settle down a little bit. Oh right. Uh, I was going to claim this door for Diana and then also hopefully make this her bed. There we go. Now that's her room. I just claimed the door because I, I f keep forgetting where everyone is supposed to sleep. <laughs> now that you're close to that bed, bed ownership, own this bed. Why did you cancel out? Maybe because she didn't own the bed. Because Alexander previously slept in here. So I don't know if Alexander and Lucy owns 
the, the double bed according to the game, but I have decided that, that that's their bed. Uh, hug her. No! Oh, she didn't want that. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, tell her a joke. Uh, smooth that over. <laughs> So if anyone is interested, I have written some of my rules down um, on my website. Uh, we can go to luani.se. Um, it's just a weird name for the website. Uh, what is happening? And then you go to Sims 2 and then rules for a rotational play. I've written some of it down. Um, there's a lot that I did not write down because I forget. <laughs> and then I change it. So, so yeah, take it with a grain of salt. It's just suggestions. It's just there in case someone is interested to get like ideas for rules for their own game. I don't like, I don't want to impose my rules on anyone else's game. I, I just feel like I enjoy these rules and that's it. <laughs> it is kind of late. I would like them to go to bed, but they're not tired at all. There are no actions. Uh, maybe if they have a little woohoo. They don't particularly want to have a woohoo. See you later. Yes, it's late. Well, I guess they will just stay up. He wants to win a cooking contest and win a dance contest. Like, what is going on? Why? Why do you want all these things? That's silly. We are not. <laughs> We're not redeeming this one. Are we though? Because uh, Alexander's lifetime wish is to have six grandchildren. And if he got twins, that would like go faster. But I usually don't re redeem this because lots of babies let's just have a life of luxury instead i i think like it's more suiting for him so speaking of rules my rule says like now that he has redeemed eight of these um benefits next time he has a point we can give him a secondary aspiration and then we'll just calculate that from Either if he, I think, uh, I think he has the right aspiration. Wow, where is it? There it is. Yes, he's a cancer, so his like true aspiration is family. And that's uh, what he has since he uh, got through college. Uh, Lucy never went to college because she had Diana instead. Um, so she, she, uh, she. Uh, she still has the aspiration that I randomized for her when she turned teen, but we can, uh, here it is. Based on these interests, we can use the, the personality calculator that is linked from Pleasant Sims and use, use that to figure out what his secondary aspiration is. Actually, should we do that? It, I think it's quite interesting uh, to, thing to do. That's what it looks like. But I need to see both screens. Okay. It's fairly quick. We just fill in every number. Uh, work 10, school 3, money 3, entertainment 10, health 7, paranormal five because it's hard to see that's why it's five and <laughs> toys two environment ten uh culture ten fashion zero travel zero animals two sci-fi four there we go 
and we can see that we have the highest number for knowledge. And I think that is very suiting <laughs> when you live in the goth mansion. So, he wants to perform music for tips. Well, you get, a, get better at that piano then, I guess. Well, he's already doing... I don't know. Can we give him a tip? <laughs> Will that just go like from Lucy to... Like from this household back to it? I don't know. I don't know if that would count. So if you... Okay, she, she put some more money. Okay. Will, will this want now satisfy? I don't know. Yep, it did. <laughs> well, good on you. Now he wants to throw a wedding party. Yes, but it's in the middle of the night. You'll... Why don't you guys go to bed? Well, maybe maybe I just have them relax over here and get them to, to do a regular woohoo. Can't you go up there? What? Yeah. Yes, you can. Because hopefully they will sleep after, so they're well rested tomorrow. And I'm just keeping the crib because... Oh, oh, it's actually Sunday now. Well, then we could... Uh, we couldn't <laughs> try for baby. Because it seems that Lucy is already pregnant. She is already... Oh my goodness. So Diana is going to have a little sibling, I think. It seems, because I wasn't allowed to do try for baby, that usually means there's already a baby coming. Wait, I didn't I didn't get a screenshot of her cute face. Oh look how cute she is. Fantastic. Oh that time jump was <laughs> weird. <laughs> okay. Hey, who's up? Why is time not moving fast? I don't know. Also, do we have auto lights on? I don't know. Yeah, we do. So, the wait for the morning. We'll have to clean this up. This this won't do when we are having a wedding. Diana seems to be the first one to wake up. She's hungry. She wants to be potty trained. That won't be possible. Uh, she wants to get an A plus report card. If she already had an A, I would lock that in. But now I will just use it if she if she had <coughs> homework, I would use that as a cue to do her homework. But she does not. Well, someone was going to make food, but now it's rotten. There's a lot of food waste in this game. So serve breakfast, toast a pastry, why not? Yeah, I know you're hungry. You'll have to wait until you're... Uh... Wait, what is that? Is... <laughs> Cornelius would be Diana's uncle, I think. Isn't this room very gloomy? We need more lights in here. But let's just put in some nice ceiling lights. Will the butler not come today because we stiffed him yesterday? I think it's a possibility. Oh, look at the huge difference in lightning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Alexander, you, you get some money out. Um, no, actually, Cornelius do that. Um, withdraw. The... I feel like it burned through money very fast. I don't know. Uh, 
everybody's hungry though. Weren't you gonna clean this up? Apparently not. Lucy, what are you doing? Don't don't cook that food. That food has gone bad quite clearly. Don't cook it. Yes, I want it. Clean this up. Go away. <laughs> ah! Okay, well, uh, resume cooking. Oh no! <laughs> he got burnt. Oh no. Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> Leave it to me to have a chaos situation just by cooking food in the oven. So now they have some money out. And as soon as the sun come up, we can have a wedding party. Lucy has the day off today. That's great. Alexander still wants to have a drink, apparently. Uh, and he wants to be in the music career. Maybe there's new jobs at the computer. Cornelius, you move out of the way. Actually, we could just serve food. there and then once you've done that you can just invite guests yeah i know i know find a job and then throw a party wedding party who's calling for roaches uh y yes wait oh so the butler did come here i wonder what he took yesterday i, I, I missed what he took I don't know. Well, he's here. That's good. Gamer, no, we want music. Oceanography, dance, no. Natural scientist, no. Athletic, no. See, in The Sims 2. <laughs> there might, may be some time before you get the job that you want or any job for that matter because I just go like if he doesn't want to have a job I don't uh, apply for one so they will they, it can take some time change to formal you can't get married in your underpants we are not inviting Tiffany Tellerman because that wouldn't be smart so we're just uh, don't invite that little boy <laughs> because Lucy has an affair with him and it, I don't know what would happen Let, let's not find out uh, Chandler Chloe Steven I hope Lucy doesn't have uh, relationships with any of these but wait I need to go through them because I think some of these people actually are in prison not Gordon King presently but you know he is a he is a robber <laughs> but i think he already served in prison i'm not sure that's why we know him i don't know uh i think actually chloe is in prison because she uh, she was fighting bruce is definitely in prison and melissa um, not these other people. Alwyn was, was in prison, but he's not anymore. So then we can invite Amar. Oh, and Darren. Like, sure, why not? He is a family friend. Uh, Sinjin? I don't know who he is. There we go. Guests invited. Now go change. What, what are you wearing, Lucy? Oh, Lucy, you also go change, please. Uh, change into formal. You, you, can't, you can't greet your guests like this. What is Cornelius wearing? Everyone. No, he was actually not in his pyjamas. Well, that's good. Oh, no. did this chair scare you? What? Why did I get scared by the chair? Oops, what is happening? What is happening now? Why is it? Why are you over here? <laughs> I thought someone was dying. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't scare me like that, game. 
All right, okay. She's hungry. Why don't you go and have something to eat? Like, there's food right here. Also, what are you wearing? Ah, why does nobody put clothes on? If I try to use this, will they all collide? Maybe. But Alexander already changed and so do, did... Oh, oh, that's nice. Well, uh, since I had a scare, let's save the game. <laughs> scare because this share has magical properties. It does? How, 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 how do you know? <laughs> how does that work? What do you mean magical properties? Is it possessed by a ghost? Because there's a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to my stream where we uh, stare at the chair that is not moving. <laughs> he went from beside it to on the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, um, it, it's a teleportation chair. What was that sound? I don't know. But I just saved. So uh, if, if the game crashes now, it's fine. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, my goodness. We have roaches and... Everything is awful. Clean up. We are making Lucy a goth Lucy today. A goth Lucy. A Lucy goth. <laughs> uh, I think that the butler called the exterminator, so I shouldn't have to bother about bees. But they're not here yet. Um, I don't know. <gasps> Look! I was right! She thinks she is pregnant. She's a bit of a, on the heavy side, so she kind of already looks a bit pregnant when you're used to what Sims look in the game. But we don't pay attention to that. She is clearly feeling the iffiness. Yes, you will bring forth little goth babies now. That's your job because Alexander wants babies. <laughs> um, everyone is hungry. Ma maybe we should eat before uh, the ceremony. Uh, that tree is bothering me. Grab a plate all. You can have turkey because you're very hungry. You can also have turkey because you're clearly pregnant and uh, she's already grabbing something. Gelatin. Oh, well, you are a child, aren't you? <laughs> okay, well, I'll have to take a better picture. Oh my goodness, look at her. I'll have to uh, grab a better picture later, but... I can't let her be a toddler in my family tree. Dina Goth. Yeah, she will be a Dina Goth, I think. I'll change it in Simpy. Uh, child. Her name is uh, Dina Verb right now. But I'll change it. Not Dina. Dia Diana. See, like uh, someone up here, probably. Who's who's Diana? <laughs> I don't know. It, it it. I know it's a family name. But I think I had to look pretty. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Did I actually write Dina? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, the file is uh, incorrect. <laughs> Her name is Diana. <laughs> Your family tree is so well documented as well. Yeah, um, I can really recommend this website, familyecho.com, because when people are getting 
um, like adopted and you know everything this uh, family tree supports that and it it gives you a way better view than, than the, the in-game like here you just see it like this I think there's a Diana up here somewhere no, maybe it's from her mother's side Tiffany Diane all right so I called her Diana I don't know what was it it it's her it's a great grandmother it's called Diane all right family echo yeah uh, recommend you go there try it out it's free Right, I need to feed them so, so no one dies during the wedding. That would be tragic. <laughs> There's the exterminator. Okay, no, none of the guests are eating. Can I call to... No. Can't call to, to meal. Alright, well. The family's out here. Oh, Having a nice little... Food time, I guess. I have my entire PV, P player violin <laughs> on there, but I never added pictures. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy adding pictures because you can see uh, the resemblance and you know the the family. You can see the gene genetics moving down the tree. <laughs> I like that. I like genetics. Oh, pleasant you. <laughs> of course. Sometimes I don't do well with abbreviations. But after you have eaten, go get married. Get everyone out here. What is all the guests doing? Oh, they're on the lawn over here. All right. What is happening? Nina, are you up to no good? Probably. Oh dear, I invited a lot of Dina, uh, Nina's uh, lovers and <laughs> they're all courting her. <laughs> There's going to be fighting. Okay, well, uh, hurry up and get married before uh, things get out of hand over there. <laughs> uh, people will hate each other. Nina is also a Roman sim, so she um, she does things. Are you gonna change clothes, or or is that what you're getting married in? Oh, seems like that's what she gets married in. Faisia, yeah, that's a good. <laughs> oh, look, though, they're so cute. <laughs> this has been Alexander's dream since they were teenagers, so, sort of. We are doing the other sim, they are going to... <gasps> now he wants a baby, of course. <laughs> Still scared of this chair. <laughs> it's a very scary chair. What is... Everyone is thinking about that chair. What is happening? <laughs> What is, is the share doing anything or is it just scaring people? You know, everyone is, ah, the chair. I've never seen that before. <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, I don't know what chair it is. There's a lot of them about, but it was one of these chairs that uh, Lilith was sitting on when a ghost, ghost, when a ghost came over from over here and scared her to death. So, you know, it is a very scary chair. Uh, it has a history. <laughs> I think it was one of these chairs, though. I don't know. I never seen like a group reaction to a chair before. But is it this chair? I don't know. It's 
Hard to tell. Who's this? Gordon King. Oh, okay. Mina is at least uh, engaged to whoever it was. We have Mina over here. Uh, yes, I'm in Sims. I haven't added um, pictures for them yet. And they have a child <laughs> that is sort of lost because she was living alone and she didn't want a child because she's a Roman sim. So she gave it up and it's in the orphanage and only Nina knows about it. And there was some displacement going on. Uh, all right. I better save often because I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so the... The goodies have now adopted Nina's child and she is going to come over when he turns 18 to tell him who he actually is. His name is now Emil because the orphanage named him that, but his n real name will be Nestor Caliente. I should use that site too? Yes, you should. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, but I, I enjoy it. <laughs> it can take some time. And also with I um with with Pleasant View in particular, um uh, I I uh, feel like everyone has like if you take into account their partners um, and ex-partners and stuff you can get like the entire neighborhood uh, like in here <laughs> so um, yeah there we go um, somehow everyone is related uh, not by blood but like as soon as soon as anyone gets like engaged I, oh, we need to change Lucy and Alexander to, where, where is she, where, where, where did he go? Uh, there he is. Now we can do change, change partners, set primary partner to Lucy London. Yes. And Lucy London is no longer Lucy London. She is now Lucy Goth. And it has information on uh, her birth name too. So there we go. And they of course have little Diana together. <laughs> well, this wedding is a good time. I need to. Sh oh my goodness! What are you doing? <laughs> are you, are you puking on the salad? Don't puke on it. Eat it instead. See, that's a good reason why pregnant Sims might start to death because they might start eating, and then they have this uh, "I feel bad" animation, so they stop eating, and then you don't notice. And they're still hungry. You thought they were eating. They're not. <laughs> okay, Nina is now just standing over here. Uh, not causing drama, I hope. You can talk to her. Chat a bit. Alexander wants to go on vacation. I usually don't do that. It screws with timelines. <laughs> Um, and also, if Lucy is pregnant, she's gonna be miserable. She, she needs to eat like all the time. Oh, she's very uncomfortable. Maybe you go sit over here for a little bit. Sinjin thought <laughs> that Lucy is very attractive. Well, that wasn't good. Now we have a root bracer. Well, that is good. What is Cornelius doing? Well, he is feeling quite well. So I'm gonna go 
have him do it. He doesn't have much ho homework left to do, so he better do it. And Diana wants to play piano, and I think that would be nice during a wedding, having her play piano very well. Well, she has a bit of creativity skill already, so she probably... Oh, wait! Should it turn autumn already? It should turn autumn during Monday. Why is, why is everything out of whack? <laughs> I do not approve the... It's it's wrong. It should still be summer for one more day. There. Um Don't be difficult with me, game. Yeah, bless you. She wants to play with a relative. We could invite Seth over. Call Sim. And if we invite his household, we will also find out uh, if he's still in the orphanage, but I think he is. Good work, Cornelius. You'll get your grades up in no time. Uh, invite household. Seth is the child of Cassandra and Darren. Yes. Well. Let's just invite Dalmar and Lester too. That, that, that's, that's fine. The more the merrier. We couldn't invite all of them because we already have a lot of people here. <laughs> the game says no. Do we have mail? No. Hi Diana, is Lucy available to talk? I mean, sure. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's just, <laughs> she's very busy sitting. Sounds great, we will be right over. Hello everyone. Oh, we don't need to greet them because it's... There's a party going on. They just... <laughs> walk right in, but now I think they might go away. I'll try to play with him, but he'll, he's gonna leave. <laughs> don't invite people right before a party ends, because then they will just go away. Alright, and now the phone's busy. Go and answer the phone, Lucy. Who is she talking to? Brooke Philippine. Mm, she's in college, I think. But I, I think I just have her down as a, uh, as a townie in my spreadsheet. I'll just have a little look. Yes. But she is next in line, <clears throat> I think, when when I need more students at college, but usually there it's full. <laughs> full with played sim, so she will have to wait <laughs> to get out of college. Everything will have its course. Well, she just wants to be friends with Dina. All right. And he wants to be... Okay, well, I need to learn. This is Gina. Th this is Diana. We have <laughs> we have Gina and Nina in the game. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I keep mixing all of them up. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I have a spreadsheet. <laughs> um, you can think uh, Pleasant Sims for that, but I'm not having my spreadsheet like her at all. I It's inspired by her spreadsheet, but it's quite different. What time have we got in real life? I think I'm gonna uh, play 
this day out and then when as soon as it turned Monday we'll set it to autumn because it keeps changing at the wrong time for us um, and then we'll end the stream that will be a, a good good time I think well uh, oh he probably wants a baby because he has a baby on the way that's probably why um, so Lucy didn't eat that? I don't know. Well, she is lacking in the hygiene department. Take a bubble bath. You you deserve it, Lucy. Well, I think Randy probably doesn't think so. And you know she she has a little, little bit of lovers here. She is involved with Gallagher Newson. And Garrett Newsom. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, pay no mind to, to that child that there. He, he is reincarnated and uh, that relationship will go away as soon as I go into Simply E and remove it because it shouldn't be there. When you're having affairs with elders, that might happen. <laughs> Because of how I uh, um, handle my elders. Mm. Well, if you want to be best friends with Gina, then maybe invite her. Oh, he wants to buy a car. You can have a car, I think. That would be nice. Where's fences? Oh, I can just eye drop to it. Can we put like a driveway? I don't know how wide they are. Definitely not, not that wide. Um. We could build a garage, but I'm not going to, I think. Why does this have a star on it? I don't know. I have a transparent one. Oh, we can't fit it in here. We need to move that tree over. <laughs> yeah, that's a logical thing to do. Maybe, maybe I put it back here. I'll just get rid of these fences. I don't know how many of them I need to get rid of. No, stop. Do we want this kind of driveway? It's kind of ugly. Or maybe this one. I think this looks way better. Maybe we'll put it there. I don't know if I could put... Yeah. Okay. But I need that kind of gate over there. There will be gates. One there and one there, I think. This will look weird. Okay. We'll just do this. And we can have a car there. Oh, we can't afford... Okay. Cornelis, what kind of car would you like? Wait. Uh, maybe he wants, like, this car? It costs 6000 but he can afford it. So let's... Let's withdraw some money then, shall we? Um, like... 7,000. Their bills will be insane. <laughs> Where, who is he calling? Oh, right. He, <laughs> he wanted to invite Gina. Right. Okay. And then we need money for the car that he wants. 
It's always a pleasure to see you. I'll be right over. That's fantastic. You can show her your new, new car. Now, I think... Wait. Where do we have the adjuster? I think he is... He is by. So he might have a like love interest with Gina, but but he might he doesn't have any faults with anyone. So I'm just he doesn't have any wishes to to date or anything. So I'm just waiting with that. Like you don't have to go away uh, and and get get uh, like girlfriends right away when you turn teen. You can wait a bit, it's fine. What color though? Well that looks weird. How do I don't really think so. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Let's have that. And it's my car. <laughs> <coughs> the carpool will no longer come for Cornelius. That's fine. He also wants to be best friends with Darren and have a skill point in cleaning. Well, that's fantastic. Great Gina though. How is it? Do we like need to unserve? No. Oh, so once you serve this, it just stays here until it goes bad and then you clean it up. I think that's how it works. Alexander has this... Okay, so now Randy is stealing our newspaper. Well, have a good time with that. We have a computer. We don't need it. <clears throat> so yeah, well, I was saying that Alexander wants to be friends with Cornelis and I think he should uh, do that because he wants to be on his good side when, when not if, Cornelis goes to college. Uh, he wants Cornelis to leave him with some money so that he can pay bills and stuff. Uh, who is this? Isaiah Gavigan. Maybe Diana says hello to that boy. Is this a townie? Who is it? I don't recognize him. Is it the boy that... No, that's Vincent. That's good. Now, where did he... Oh, well, they're getting along. They are uh, apparently friends. Hello. <laughs> Can you stop that? I want to talk to you. <laughs> hey, I want to have a little chat. I want to be friends with you. Did you say hello to this boy? Yeah, apparently. Okay. Uh, apparently she didn't like this boy at all. They have a negative four relationship points. Okay, well, that's fine. You don't need to like everybody. <laughs> he, he really doesn't like Diana. That's weird. Can we have a... Oh my goodness. This is not going well. Can we have a friendly hug? Oh, everybody aged up again. Yeah, I'll just open my uh, nice spreadsheet and figure out that Alexander is now 29, Lucy is 26, Cornelius is 17, and Diana is 6. And she's not a toddler anymore, she is a child. There we go. And according to the spreadsheet, she should have six days left until she grows up. I'm not sure if she does. No, she has seven days because uh, because she didn't have a birthday cake when she turned child. So that is fine. I'll just add a day for her. 
I don't know if she, if she was sad about that. I don't even know if she grew up well or bad. She did grow up well. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> family kiss. Maybe if they play catch a little bit. Maybe then they will be friends. I must have a picture of this. This, oops. This is a big, uh, good representation that uh, <laughs> that keeps happening. Alexander had a uh, nice time living here with Cornelis before Cornelis went to college. Like it, it, he's going to go to college. So <laughs> I'm thinking past tense already. What is Lucy doing? It's apparently art, right? Okay. And she wants to become friends with Gina. Like, I'm I'm going to try to not... Where is Gina? To not cause any trouble or drama. Where is Gina? There she is. Before she has the baby, then we will see. Or, you know, if we get in the red, we will have to do stuff here. Hugger friendly. Oh, can we do that? Will she... They have a pretty good relationship. She might be okay with a hug. She'll just walk to where she was when I clicked and then walk to where she actually is. Hello. Oh, you're Hello. going to have a toilet? I'm uh, just here to hug you. Uh, don't flirt with her. <laughs> I mean, she could. But that would be a little bit chaotic. We just want to be friends. Uh, do more hugs. I don't know. Well, uh, if you wouldn't mind go doing some cleaning. Oh, this is taking forever. This is not working well at all. Uh... Go tickle him instead and do a friendly hug and do the family kiss. I don't know. How do we quickly become friends? And maybe tell a joke? There we go. Finally, that was long coming. And now he wants to get a job in the music career again, but I don't think the jobs have changed. I think we need to wait until Monday before we can try that. But should I lock it in? Maybe I lock it in. <laughs> and I leave them to it. What is happening? She's going to... Oh, okay. They need to go relax now. <laughs> that is um, um, important business to be, uh, to be had. Also, I have tried to move Luke into the retirement home, uh, but uh, since he's an he butler, they work differently than other townies. I can't get him in there. So, um, well, I failed getting getting him in there. So what we'll do is just let him die. <laughs> he will age up uh, automatically when he is present on a lot at six o'clock until he has reached his end of life. And I think that that's quite nice too. Like he can just stay a butler uh, for this household like his entire life. It's nice. Now he's turning in. Oh, and <laughs> today we had a lot, enough money to pay him. That's that's nice. 
Uh, you should study some cleaning because you apparently want a cleaning skill point. Now he wants to go into private school. And Lucy is getting a baby bump. Oh, and I have a mob so that they can keep their clothes. And this particular dress doesn't have uh, a baby bump more. So uh, we'll have to change her into maternity clothes like this. There we go. And we can see her belly. Oh, that's a big belly. And picture. There we go. And I usually do it. It's Sunday 9.29 at evening time. So that means she is uh, pregnant, of course, and then she is due at Tuesday at 11.29 p.m. It's good to know. <laughs> A little golf baby is on the way. Yes, you were sleeping. You can you keep doing that. You can all go to bed. And Cornelius as well, once he's tired of doing that. Diana already <laughs> went to bed. Fantastic. I think this is a pretty good time to end the stream. I don't think anything more is going to happen in this household now uh, because everyone is just going to bed. So we are going to go on Twitch and see if we can find someone else that is playing The Sims 2. Um, Let's see. No. <laughs> no one else is playing The Sims 2. So, but uh, Ximopti is playing The Sims 4. So we can try and raid them instead. I think it's quite sad that uh, I, it's quite often that I can't find anyone else playing The Sims 2 when I want to raid. Um, Oh well. <laughs> so I really enjoyed this play session with all of you. Did I save? I think I did. Um, and um, until next time, have a super duper time and stay safe and take care. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.